On this week's Road to Mangaung, Zuma's plans for the economy in the spotlight and Mbalula fights back. We begin with President Jacob Zuma's range of plans for the economy after 10 weeks of strike action in the mining and transport sector that's seen the South African economy being slapped with two successive credit ratings downgrades. Key to the President's proposals is production in the mining sector being normalized as a matter of urgency, accelerating development through the Infrastructure Development Programme, providing assistance to workers and companies that have been affected by the global economic downturn, increasing job creation through the Public Sector Works Programme, and making a controversial call for CEOs and high-level executives in the public and private sector to undertake a 12-month pay freeze. Now, the President's detractors have labelled the plan as mere words that are short on details and will solely be used as a PR exercise for Zuma ahead of Mungo Um. That assertion has been backed up by economists who have said that the plan is short on details and Zuma merely asking workers to head back to their posts and calling for a pay freeze for senior public and private sector executives will do nothing to their investor disquiet growing in the economy. With a little under eight weeks to go until the Mungoong elective conference, it will be difficult to measure the success, if any, of Zuma's plans. If it indeed is an attempt to rescue investor confidence, or merely a play to woo voters ahead of Mungoong, is anybody's guess. However, one could definitely expect a certain level of political jockeying by all potential Mungoong candidates as voting day draws near. Now more on our lead from last week, attempts to co-opt Sports Minister Fakila Mbalula into Zuma's voting camp. Seen as one of Zuma's most vocal critics, Mbalula was apparently offered the position of Deputy Secretary General or a Senior National Executive Committee position in return for his support. But Mbalula has said he rebuffed the offer and remains firmly committed to having Zuma replaced in Mangaung. Mbalula had been tipped to challenge for the post of Secretary General at Mangaung, but his election chances were dealt a blow when only the Limpopo Provincial Executive Committee and the ANC Youth League nominated him as their preferred candidate. As he's not necessarily a spent force quite yet, what Mbalula does and says next will be important, as it will give a true indication of the appetite among the president's detractors to push for change and put their political lives on the line. Expect the allegations and counter-allegations of shifting allegiances to Snowball on the road to Mangaung.